Okay, my name is Akashi guys and I bet you are so happy to hear me say okay today. Ultra Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is here, we Fusion Warrior mains, or if you're just a Gogeta fan overall, have won the war. 2-0, two, two years in a row, Zamasu couldn't do it, Vegito won it for us last year and now we're here with the 1000 times Big Bang Kamehameha. This unit here is phenomenal and you want to know whether you should summon on the unit and I want to say straight up, there's nothing else left for the anniversary so if you have nothing else to summon on, this unit is worth summoning on. But but we will still go through the normal procedure with the kit details so we're gonna go through the whole kit i have a summary for you guys so if you want to know what he does what element he is etc stick around for that i'll give a full detailed opinion on my opinion on whether i think you guys should summon for him then on top of that i'll tell you whether i'm summoning you should know i'm summoning but i will let you know later in the video this is going to be an amazing video i'm sure you guys are happy let me know already if you've decided whether you're summoning or not but of course i don't hold you guys up too long so let's get straight into this video right so usually in this section of the video i would give advice based on how you should go about summoning but because it's the end of the anniversary there's no advice i have for you there's nothing you need to consider in the future you just need to take the information i give you in this video and apply it accordingly to what you think is good for you so for some people they might not care about gt saiyans or fusion warriors so then they might look at the other banners that were available in the anniversary for example the ultimate gohan banner does have margin boo who's actually really good but he might become a victim to the purples so you might want to summon on that based on wanting a region unit but then maybe that region unit isn't good right now because of the purples also consider we got the Godku banner, we got the Gogeta banner and the Vegito banner. It might just be, not be the units that are on the banner that you're looking for, or it might be something on the side of them. So the Legends Limited or something like that. There could also be a rerun that could come very soon. So I'm also not advising that you just go into the other banners just because you don't like G4. I'm also just saying you should think about what's around right now and what could come out in the near future if you aren't interested in G4, which is very unlikely. But I just want to make this video for those guys as well. It's not for everybody, but of course, if it does apply to you, Hopefully this was helpful. Right now we're going to be going into the kit details, but what I've gone ahead and done is a summary. We don't need to go through the whole kit breakdown. I've summarized it perfectly for you because you know Legends are using all these technical terms. There's a lot of writing and I know you don't really want to read every single bit. You just want to know in plain terms what everything means. So I've gone ahead and summarized it. It's not that you can't read the kit, but if you do want to read every single line of the kit, you can go ahead and do that. But I've taken all the bits that actually matter, which are going to make the biggest difference in PvP and put it into the summary so we're going to read basically the tweet and i'm going to explain everything about the kit here well if you do want to read it you know it's on the dbl official website dble.bn-ent.net that's their website there but cool let's go into reading their kit so the element is purple that should just be known melee type unit and there's blast arm on the strike the blast arts has nothing which is why i didn't write it but these are like the main three things you're going to be using knowing that they're purple a melee type because the stats would go a certain way and you'd have blast arm on strike which is effective now the blue card i've separated it quite easily you get vanish restore based on the amount of cards you've destroyed so every time you press a blue card you destroy cards basically and that's obviously kind of an inconvenience but you get vanish based on it and you also get damage based on it so there's obviously like tag fours you get one two and three i'll actually show you the specific amount because they highlight it here so you can see it's 15 percent for one card and you get 30 percent vanish then it's 30 percent for two cards and 50 percent vanish there's 100 percent vanish for three cards and 45 percent vanish cool Going back here, we've got the draw two cards and destroys two enemy cards on hit. So you do get cards back if you do land it. And it's quite easy to land it, which you will see. But the main thing here, if you guys know me, I've been pushing this untouchable G4 agenda. Untouchable G4 is literally what this guy is. He's meant to be very untouchable. He doesn't have endurance or anything like that. I'll spoil it straight away. But he's going to be probably the type of unit that can't get hit in the first place. So on the blast, on the, on the blue card, sorry. He nullifies blast arts when charging forward. Not blast armor, nullifies. Similar to a rising rush, Gogeta does it with his blue card. Ultra Gohan does it with his ultimate art. Every blue card, he will nullify blast arts. So that means he will just go through it. So Gohan's anti-blast, it doesn't work on this guy. Going into green cards, his green card is explosive green. He gets 50 key. He's going to activate no switching for free time accounts to the enemy. And he's going to draw two cards if he has three or fewer. Basic things that you get from the green card, but it's just good to note the key things there. The ultimate art, he's going to nullify endurance off that, it can be cancelled. He's going to cancel the enemy buff effects and attribute upgrades. He's going to get, so there's two types of uh, ultimate art levels that he can do. You must have heard in the reveal when he was like a thousand times Big Bang Kamehameha. That's insane, right? So depending on if you get a regular success or a huge success, you will get better things. So more time, you're going to get the huge success, huge success every single time. 
the regular success you just destroy all of the enemy cards which is pretty whack that's if you don't tap enough on the art action similar to ultra vegeto blue but with the huge success you will cause characters that have revival to revive with 70 percent less health so bad Bad, bad for characters like Revival Han, who already doesn't go to 100%. Pycon and Super Gogeta go to 100%, so he's going to respawn on 30% health, basically. Uh, Nappa and Vegeta, as an example, those guys will respawn with less health when they revive. It doesn't apply to Golden Freezer because Golden Freezer is comeback and not revival. It's a technical difference. It's pretty much the same thing I know. It's kind of annoying, but that's how it works. Also reduces key by 100 Uh here we have destroys all enemy cards and reduce enemy dragon balls by three obviously this is on the hit it should all of this needs the hit for these to apply you're not going to do it based on it just like you know be impressed going forward the main ability he's going to draw his ultimate arts he's going to go type neutral for 20 time accounts which can be cancelled and he's going to nullify destroy uh cards and reduce uh, uh, key effects for for 20 time accounts now that i believe it can't be cancelled but i'll check that for you it can be cancelled i didn't write it down on purpose but i just wanted to double check these can't be cancelled these can't be cancelled at all i mean can be cancelled so when you're using the main ability don't think just because you've gone type neutral that you're going to see success a lot of characters can cancel buffs eg ultimate gohan your type neutral goals and then the destroy cards and reduce key effects can then be cancelled and that's also annoying a lot of characters destroy cards for example margin boo evil annoying i think ultimate gohan does as well shin mad annoying so you won't be able to lose key anymore and you won't be able to get your cards destroyed if you pop the main ability for 20 time accounts for each all right so let's go into unique ability one here he gets 240 percent damage inflicted which cannot be cancelled that's very good to know because he's going to do, be doing an insane amount of damage now on to entry this is very important all of the stuff that he does on entry is actually quite insane he gets plus 30 key on entry key on entry is just standard if you're not getting key on entry nowadays like what's going on he's going to draw a card but only the first three times now this is very important to hear there because it also counts if you have four cards so you know normally it's if you have three or fewer cards you'll draw a card for most units it's almost every time they come into the battlefield they'll draw a card but for goji it's only three times the first three times and the count of it going uh, like up as in okay you did it one time it also counts if you already had four cards in your deck so you won't be able to just hold it at bay even if you already have four cards so you need to be careful when switching him in because you only get three of those the draw speed goes up one time um one one level which is obviously dope he's gonna get cover no for 10 time accounts it can be cancelled but cover no is cover no and it's gonna help you get an advantage he also gradually restores health each time account for 15 time accounts so he's a big healer as well he's gonna be healing all the time every time he switches in he'll just be healing but that's gonna come in handy later so here we have him at last stand on last stand he's going to get plus one dragon balls he's going to get 70 percent of damage inflicted he's going to restore 50 percent of his health as in health restore goes 50 percent up so the rate that he restores health would be 50 percent more is it so if, for example if he's going to restore here um gradually restoring health say like he's getting 1000 every time it'll be 50 percent more than than the 1000 hypothetically draw speed goes up one level as well unique gauge 100 percent is going to fill and he gets permanent type neutral uh which is insane like overall so it's not just against damage sustained but damage he's just dishing out too now this is also good when his health is 50 percent or below he's gonna charge unique gauge by 100 percent he's gonna go type neutral for damage sustained now this is obviously more likely to happen than him on last stand uh so 50 percent or below his unique gauge goes up completely 100 percent that means he's gonna get the untouchable counter which i'll get into later uh type neutral for damage sustained which is super super dope like it's, it's it's actually insane um you're not going to be able to take advantage damage from yellows and he's also going to get health from that now obviously this is super good because with this part he will get 50 percent uh, health restore so it's going to be 50 percent on top of whatever number this is then here shorten sub count by five when rising rush blue card ultimate or awakened so it's an easy way to get him out and protect him if you're getting hit by those big gun attacks we got unique ability two we got strike and blast cover changes he does both but it's only two times so just bear that in mind if you want to cover change him for a blast he can do that cover change him for a, a strike he can do that draw a special move on cover change and gains 20 key now reason why this is important is because every time he gains a cover change he's going to be able to do the blue card everything i explained for the blue card earlier can apply because you'll be hitting it you also get 30 key on entry so on the cover change he's getting 50 key basically which is super dope and he'll be able to hit a blue card which is insane here when the uni when hit he charges his uni gauge greatly 
So I think it's similar to Super Baby 2 possibly. Every time he takes a hit, he's going to be able to fill his gauge. So it's going to happen probably quite a lot. He's going to be quite untouchable. Once Unique Gauge is full, this is the effects that happen. So he's going to get 20% health. He's going to steal enemies rise and rush for five time accounts. And the gauge can activate when standing still, attacking, moving, charging key, receiving an attack after switching and changing cover or during assist. This is absolutely insane. If you fought Ultra UI, you know Ultra UI, when he's charging, you can still hit him with a strike or a blast. He can't flip out of it. But the fact that this guy can counter in any state, the only thing that can't activate his counter pretty much is a rising rush. That's absolutely insane. Gage takes priority over cover changes. So if you cover change with him and you have the counter, the counter will activate. So even if they have cover null, the counter is in place of it. So he's actually insane if you want to stop their combo. It can't be triggered via Strike Assault, which is something that you need to know. So Gogeta Blue is going to be able to ignore it. Kind of annoying, but he's Gogeta Blue and he has that in his kit. So his stock goes up. On top of the fact that he's yellow. When counter activates, this is what happens. So he's going to draw three cards when three or fewer. He's going to get 50 key. 70% to the next dry cards damage inflicted that he does. Destroys all of the enemy cards. Seals main ability for five time accounts. Enemy gets no switching for free time accounts, cancels attribute, up, uh, attribute upgrades and buff effects, and can counter everything by Rising Rush, which is what I said earlier. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, absolutely insane the Ultra we're getting. Now it's time to give my opinion on whether I think it's worth it for you to summon. Of course I think it's worth it for you to summon. This unit is absolutely insane. He's so great and there's nothing else to go for besides from this and the units that I've already released. The anniversary is finished, they're not releasing no more units. If you're not summoning on this, you might be waiting for something else. But more than that, you might be summoning on units that are already here. But I think this guy is so worth it. If you're talking about a top 10 standard, obviously we can't say because he's not in the game yet. We don't know how teams are going to work with him. But let's talk individually. I think he's easily like a top 3 unit. I think he overclasses Ultra Gohan, which is a big thing. Because he's purple as well, he's going to overpower him. He also goes through the anti-blast, which is super effective. But he doesn't have anything like endurance or anything that cancels bust when a big attack is hit. He just lowers sub counts. So if you can't get him out in time, if you hit him with a rising rush like Vegito, he's going to get taken out. Let's also add that a lot of things that he does can be cancelable. And let's look at a unit like Ultimate Gohan. He's able to cancel a lot of buff effects when things are happening to him. So this unit might not be as oppressive for someone like Ultimate Gohan. But a lot of greens are going to get taken out the way. But Vegito can still rise and rush through this guy very easily. So at the worst, he's top three, third at that. But at the best, he's easily the best in the game. And that's enough to make you want to summon, in my opinion. I'm summoning regardless. But if you want a very good metric, that's the best way I can phrase it for you to understand how valuable he can be. But also some disadvantaged situations that he could be in. So I'm not going to tell you summon just because it's G4. But because it's G4 and it's the anniversary finished, I think he's worth it. I know that didn't make sense, but I mean as in because it's G4, he's good. But not just because it's G4. Do you get it? Hopefully that didn't go over your head. Hopefully you hear the points that I'm making. I don't think he's outright going to be the best in the game automatically. I need to see him in PvP. I'm not. I'm, I'm kind of scared to make that opinion immediately. But he does have top potential in the game. He's absolutely absurd. Depending on how fast that gauge feels, he's truly going to be untouchable and one of the most inconvenient units to deal with. Respectfully, they did Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta justice and I think it's worth it for you guys to summon. To end off the video, am I going to be summoning? Of course I'm going to be summoning. What else am I waiting for? You guys know me, I'm Mr. Fusion. I've already 14 starred Super Vegito. Gogeta, obviously, I'm working on it. I've got him 7 stars. I'm not a hater of Gogeta, but sometimes I've got to do a little, like, Agenda, you know, against Gogeta. I'm not a hate of Gogeta. I genuinely think Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta has the best design in Dragon Ball. This guy is lovely. I've been saying this multiple times. The design with his hair, like his red, and then the two as well, similar to Vegito. And then, of course, he's got the, the Super Saiyan 4 monkey look. That's just amazing. That's just amazing to me. I have to summon on this unit on top of the fact that he's super good and he needs to be an addition to my Fusion Warrior team. Hopefully, I can 14 star him, but I don't know how that's going to go. So I'm going to have to just try my best. But regardless of if I 14 star him or not, I will be summoning for him because I think he's that good he looks that good aesthetically he is that good then on top of that he's going to be a menace in pvp but yeah man that's going to be the end of the video hopefully you guys did enjoy this video man let me know in the comment section whether you guys are going to be summoning or not because i definitely am but outside of that this unit is going to change the game this unit is going to change the game if you don't have this unit you might struggle for a little bit and i'm letting you know that for free but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video man press the subscribe button we're on this grand to 100,000 subscribers i appreciate you guys for watching man my name is akashi guys and i'll see you guys in the next one man